What is a youth movement? It is people. It is ideas. It is continuity. Founded 75 years ago, our movement holds to its earliest goals. Zionism, understanding Jewish history, confidence in living as a Jew. The times have changed. The challenges have changed. The movement now enters its eighth decade, changing with the times. The energy and the spirit are always there. Only the faces are different. This should not be the beginning or the end or the only thing we do to help Soviet Jews. It should be a year-long struggle. But here is where we can show our force. And there are other Jews here like me from Young Judea, from Philadelphia, from Massachusetts, from all over here to show that we are ready to be committed all year round to save Soviet Jewry. The only thing I really knew about Judaism was on Yom Kippur. We fasted the whole day. It was a strict rule in the house. And on Pesach, we had no bread in the house. And I was never really curious enough to ask why. And I think that if I didn't go on to become a member of, Young Ju of the Young Judean Club, the local club, for social reasons, I would have been lost as a, a Jewish, as a, a Jew in the community. When we came here 10 years ago, there wasn't a tree as tall as I am. And today, as you can see, we have a beautiful kibbutz that looks like a golf course. The movement is Hashahar. Children, younger and older. It is guides, leaders, and counselors here and in Israel. It is Hadassah, caring and nurturing the whole program. The movement exists to develop commitment, idealism, and community. Pop, pop, pop. Everybody. Pop, pop, pop. For some, it is summer camp. Jew and survive as Jews, that's, that's where our home is and that's where we have to go. And that was our feeling and one of the reasons we made Aliyah. For some, the movement is one of Hashakar's programs in Israel. A summer of exploring, learning Hebrew, seeing history, or being part of a year course. Like you're saying, when I got off the plane, the first reaction was, I was home. He's written more letters since he's been here in the three and a half months of his life and the entire rest of his life altogether <laughs> that just glowed with such enthusiasm and such feeling. The first and very, very primary goal it has nothing to do with being in Israel and nothing to do with being in Young Judea. This is a year of personal growth. And if you look growth below, through self-reliance and inspiration. The inspiration of the distant past. Sites like Avdat, with its ancient remains of Nabataean, Roman and Byzantine cultures. The recent past, the grave of Ben-Gurion, looking out over the desert he loved. His simple stone is marked with the date he made Aliyah. the young Americans who have founded Keturah, a young Judea kibbutz in the Arava, the desert. Like their forefathers, they have made the desert bloom. I'd like to go back a little bit. And the movement includes alumni of earlier years. Older young Judeans, like Rabbi Israel Goldstein, one of the first leaders of the movement. And that was a visit to Palestine uh, in order to bring uh, a gift to the Boy Scouts of Palestine, enabling them to uh, acquire a field where they could have their parades and, and their various uh, practices. And uh, that gift, I think, consisted of about $5,000. But in those days, $5,000 was a lot of money. And it includes alumni Carl and Natalie Alpert, who met in Young Judea. When I was 15, the Hebrew school in Cincinnati decided that every year they would send one student to study for a year in Palestine. This was in 1935. 
and um, I was chosen as the first one and I went with an aunt and went to school in Jerusalem and stayed for a year and really wanted to stay on but riots broke out and my parents absolutely objected and uh, remember what happened <laughs> what mother said her mother said at the time uh, you come you come home and uh, finish high school you'll go to college you'll graduate you'll get married then you can do what your husband wants to do and her mother thought that was a pretty safe bet she didn't realize she was going to marry a man who also wanted to go live in Palestine. There are those who make Aliyah and those who stay and strengthen the American Jewish community. The energy of the movement is one voice. not able to do and anywhere else is to convince kids that being Jewish is fun. Jewish is fun, that's the theme here, that being Jewish is cool. We have more in common in Jew as Jews than we have as anything else. And it's this diversity which really is our strength in the movement. This is a Young Judea family. I grew up in Young Judea. I met my husband through Young Judea. We're bringing our children up as Young Judeans. I was a camper at this camp, and now I'm a staff member at this camp. It's something that flows from the movement into our hearts, and as we grow older, we send it out from our hearts to the young people who are growing up now. The movement is inside each member, and it is tens of thousands of young Judeans through 75 years. It is doing as a group and changing inside discovering an awareness that is always there to be awakened. What is the movement? It is our future. <laughs>